This is an obvious update on my 10 gallon Nano Reef Sexy Shrimp tank. The tank is doing well. It's starting to fill in, both because the corals are growing and because I added additional softies. I also finally got around to scraping the back and the sides, so it's looking like a nice little mini display tank rather than a big mess. The shrimp are quite active, as I just fed them prior to filming this. You can see I've put back the hang on the side filter. This is to run a small bit of carbon and to add some additional water flow. In this shot, both the pumps are off, so the pulsing Xena is the only movement in the tank. One thing about filming and photographing this tank it's very difficult to get a shot with all the corals open since the shrimp are constantly moving around, landing on the corals and closing them up. I'm quite happy with how the tank looks, especially now that the back is scraped and it's a much cleaner look. Despite the fact that I removed so much algae from the tank, there's still a ton of microfauna. From the top you can see there's still a few flatworms, although the problem is mostly under control. I remove them weekly now instead of daily. There is however quite a bit of bubble algae on the rocks. This is not really too much of a surprise given the tank has minimal filtration and is heavily fed. Fortunately there's not a lot of rock in the tank, so there's not too many places for the bubble algae to grow. I will just manually remove it and maybe I'll get lucky and some of the corals will grow on top of it. I'm glad these pink pallies look good in the tank because I've got a ton of them. The sexy shrimp are quite active. They're starting to show a little bit more breeding behavior. I do see them doing the mating dance and occasionally I see a female with eggs. I really did expect them to have eggs more often, but that hasn't been the case. Here's a shot of some of the mycid shrimp. They really don't have anywhere to hide, nor do they have any predators, so they have no reason to hide. So there's always quite a few out in the open during the day. I'm glad these kenny trees look good in here, because that's another coral that I've got quite a few extra pieces of. bubble algae on this rock here, I'm just going to pry off with tweezers. One more shot of that numerous mycid shrimp. Here's a shot of the light. Uh, I didn't really know anything about this light other than it fit my budget and it fit on top of the tank. It's actually done quite well for a hundred bucks. I'm quite pleased with it. And here's one more shot of the tank with the flow going. You can see the top of the water is prone to getting a little bit dirty looking. One more power head wouldn't be the worst idea. But for now I'm keeping things simple. Overall I'm quite pleased with the tank. Looking forward to seeing the corals grow in. And who knows, one of these days I may finally get my baby sexy shrimp. Thanks for watching and happy reefing.